What's up guys, welcome back to another video and this time we're going to be focusing on PS4 Trainer. I know most of you guys have been asking for this one, so here we go guys. What the PS4 Trainer does, for those of you who don't know, it helps you cheat on your games while you're playing it. And I mean, you can't really do this online of course because we can't play online. However, PS4 Trainer can actually help you cheat on your games. So jumping into the Trainer page guys, so as you can see, you have loads of games over here that you can actually cheat on and I'm going to show you that in a detailed step-by-step -step guide uh, in just a bit. But guys, disclaimer, not every game is available plus not every version is available on PS4 Trainer. For example, if I go and type down, say, Call of Duty, so as you can see, these are the different versions that's available. If you look over here, you do have Call of Duty Black Ops, but then there's this is the C USA number. You have three different versions over here, and this is for version 1.24, 1.26, and 1.00. So only if this version and the C USA number matches, only then will it work, guys. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So if you look over here, you do have all of these cheats, and I'm going to show you how this is done. I don't have all the games compatible at the moment. For example, I do have God of War. So you do have five different versions of God of War over here. The one that I have is especially over here, and I know you might be confused on which version do you have or which C USA a number which game region you actually have and i'm going to help you with that as well guys with an amazing tool called ps4 pkg tool all right so let's get straight into it and i'm going to show you that how to use ps4 trainer and let's go guys of course guys coming to the requirements the first thing you need is your ps4's ip address so do take a note of that that's very important then of course you need the ps4 trainer.com and you can actually access this from a computer an android phone or even your ps4 yeah i'm gonna try that out as well and finally guys you need the web rte payload which i'm using from lethal's website you can use that from chrono's website the night king exploit allah Steve's website any exploit that you choose to follow not a problem okay guys let's get started and, and as mentioned i'm going to show you exactly how to find out your your game's region number as well as your version i'm going to show you that right at the end of the video before that i'm going to show you the demonstration on how to use ps4 trainer let's proceed so first things first guys go ahead and jailbreak your ps4 and once you're doing that then you'll have to go ahead and load up the web rte payload just like this you're going to get the launching payload all right, as you can see, guys, PS4 Trainer is loading up. It says visit ps4trainer.com, then sit back, relax, and enjoy some mods. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, of course, guys, always go down to your network, go to Wii Connection status. And as you can see here, this is where you get your IP address. Just to reconfirm, make sure you take a note of that down. And so, guys, for the first demonstration, I'm going to use Call of Duty World War II. So let's open that up. Okay, so now that it's open, I'm going to go back to the system and ensure to write the same IP address we reconfirmed. So once your IP address is put in, then you search for the game that you have. So in my case, it's Call of Duty World War II. So if I scroll down, and as I mentioned, guys, I've already verified this. So this is my version. That's version 1.11. So what I'm going to do, let's go back to the game. I'm going to start a mission. Okay, so while it's still loading up, let's go back to the system. And guys, as I mentioned, this is the version I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, it should show you this pop-up. And guys, can you see this part here? It says Trainer Attached. When it says trainer attached, that means your PS4 IP address is perfectly fine. It is working and it's connected. Now, it all depends on you just sure. flicking up switches. So here we go, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's a regular gameplay and I do have like 30 bullets here. Now, as I shoot, guys, you can see the bullets going down all the way to 9, 8, 4, 0 and then reloading. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the game and let's go back to the system. Get to this point here and I'm going to switch on a few things like infinite ammo, no reload, guard mode. And I think that's about it for now. So let me just, once you switch it on, resume the game and check this out. I can shoot endlessly now and my ammo does not go down. Pretty cool. Honestly, guys, I don't really prefer these cheats and stuff like that. I actually like to play the game, you know, as is. But then, you know, everyone has their own little taste and, you know, some people like to go ahead and blow up some steam and, you know, get into guard mode or infinite ammo or just want to pass a level. Yeah, it's perfectly up to you guys. But yeah, this is what you can do with Call of Duty World War II. As you can see, I'm being, being killed in every way possible, but still alive. <laughs> Alright, that's about Call of Duty. So let's quit the game and let's move on to another one. Next up, Resident Evil 2 Remastered. Let's, let's fire this up. And while it's loading up, guys, let's go back into the system. Go up to the top and just type down Resident Evil 2. So once I type it down, and I do have three different versions over here. So the one that I'm using is this one, version 1.00. So let's go back here and I can see it's almost loaded up. Okay, here we go guys, the game's loaded up and uh, you know, you do have limited amount of ammo and stuff. So, so if I take my gun out and shoot, as you can see on the right corner, it goes down. So now let's switch back to the system. 
I'm going to open up that. I'm going to click on version 1.00 and let's see. It is trainer attached. Perfect. So I'm going to choose infinite hand, bottomless clip, infinite ammo, max ammo, max clip ammo, lots of stuff in here. But I'm just going to stick with that for now and let's just see how it turns out. So back into the game. And guys, as you can see, I can keep shooting endlessly and my ammo is going to remain the same. It's 24 by 38. All right, so let's go find some zombies to kill. Okay, after having some fun shooting them down, here we go, another, another zombie. Kind of almost got close to me though. But anyway, so let's go and switch off. Go back to the system and guys, I'm just going to switch everything off. So I'm going to get back to normal gameplay. So you don't have to do anything with a refresh or any of that stuff. Just switch it off and get, once you get back to your PS4. And as you can see now, the bullets go down. So, yeah, as simple as that, guys. You can just switch on a cheat and switch it off. I'm going to empty this thing over here. <laughs> oh, ouch. That even, even looking at that kind of hurts. All right, so let's wrap this up. Okay, so now I have God of War running in the background. I'm going to go ahead and search for God of War. So just typing down God of War. And guys, as I mentioned, so guys, this is my version over here. So I'm going to go and open that specific one. And as you can see, I do have a few different options over here and trainers are attached as always. So I'm going to switch on infinite health, infinite rage, infinite arrows. And since I'm just in the start of the game, so I guess most of these things don't really apply too well. Because I'm just right in the beginning of the game uh, since I lost my save game here. So guys, if you look on the top right corner, my hack silver is infinite. And I did have some weird thing happening over here. These things were just stuck randomly. I was able to just push them around. It was like modding the game in some weird way but uh yeah so i just put on only infinite health and as you guys can see i'm being attacked left front and center and my health is still completely full not depleting and i'm playing this in god mode by the way so one two hits should get you killed so yeah guys that's how you basically mod and that's your god of war uh, demonstration as well so guys, that's how you do it, and you can also do it from your Android phone, from your PS4 web browser, and as long as you're on the same network and just load up the website, put in the IP address, and you should be good to go. All right, so I know you guys will be waiting on how to find out which game version you're using, which region it is, and which version of the game you're using. So let's go straight into that. So guys, this is what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna show that to you right now. All right, guys, so thanks to PXC on Twitter, he or she has been able to help developing this particular package tool that's called PS4 Package Tool version 1.2. Now that's amazing, and you actually have this for Windows, and I think this is really underrated. So what this actually does is it does analyze your package files and you can actually know every single detail about your package files. And not just that, guys, you can actually use this as a remote package installer. So you can actually send the packages from your computer all the way to your PS4 over Wi-Fi or LAN. I do have a tutorial about it. I will drop that link in the description if you guys want to find it out. But instead of using that particular package file that I've mentioned in my video, you can actually use this software. But unfortunately, I don't think this is available for Mac. It's only for Windows. So anyway, uh, enough talk. I'm just going to click on this and it's going to redirect you over here. So this is how uh, you can go ahead and install it. So you can go and get it from right here. So once you get it, guys, this is how you use it. So guys, once you open it up, it's going to ask you to browse for all the package files. So, so there you go, guys. Every game is now analyzed. So once I open it up, you can see all the games that I've actually loaded up. So when you select a particular game, guys, if you scroll all the way down, you can see the CUSA number right there and also the version of the game. Likewise, I open up Uncharted 4, I scroll all the way down, I can see the CUSA number, which is the region number, and as well as the game version. So likewise, guys, you can actually analyze every single game. I'm going to show you one more. But guys, here's another example. If you go to Skill Zone Shadow Fall, as you can see, this is the version 01.81. So when you cross-verify here, for example, Days Gone, it requires version 151. So if I go down to the package that I have, if I scroll down here, and as you can see, I only have version 1 and not the update. So it's not really going to work. So guys, that is the PS4 package tool and is really helpful for you to know which game region you're using as well as which app version you're using as well. So you can actually cross verify before you try to use PS4 Trainer in case you have it or not. So guys, in case you really want to mod and you want to have updated to the same version available on PS4 Trainer, you're welcome to do that. You can just go ahead and search to find that particular version that is compatible and then upgrade to it. Alright guys, I really hope you found that video helpful and I do have a lot of people commenting and asking me how to a tutorial on swapping your hard drive but still retaining your 6.72 jailbreak on your PS4. And I'm planning to make a video about that. Let me know if you're interested and I will probably make that pronto. But coming up next guys is a Linux tutorial, how to run Linux on your PS4 and a few other tutorials in lineup. So I hope you're enjoying my videos. Go ahead and drop a like, drop a subscribe and drop me a comment. Let me know which games you're planning to mod and enjoy 
over the weekend. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.